build another upper cabinet, a small one, one that fits one of these baskets and some additional space. Uh, I've been busy yesterday uh, making all the parts that I need to put it all together. Um, so, not entirely done, I still have to make some dados, but that's what I'll be checking out. It would be looking something like this. Um, this part would come at the top here, but I'll put it there for the time being. This will have a uh, back panel that closes it up in the back. And then I would have the top here. And that's the way I connect it to the ceiling. Um, of course, to show it a little bit better, it would look like this. Uh, and it will be uh, at the top, uh, close to the sliding door. The sliding door would be at this location. Uh, this would be uh, a place to put some art or some things or plant or uh, for display. And then this area would function as a host for my little basket. And that will be here. So I'll put it uh, just roughly together and uh, try to check it in the car how the uh, how it uh, works out and whether I have to make any adjustments. I'm putting it all together with a few screws so I can really pick it up and carry it into the van. Okay, that's what it's gonna look like. This is the location where I planned this upper cabinet. That looks fairly good. This fits. I would have liked to uh, make some dados to put these little side walls in and to make it really a sturdy cabinet, but I have to apply some for mica first to make it all look good. So let's start with some for mica. Next step is uh, to apply some uh, contact cement. I usually uh, use uh, well very well known. Uh, works great. I usually start at the center going outwards. I'm building up a cabinet here which is similar to the one above the bed. Um, but I have to put a rail against the uh, ceiling to attach it to. So I have to drill a hole for a plus nut. Be careful not to drill through your roof that would be a problem. Okay, got my magnet and all the shavings. Paint the metal a bit against rust. Okay, that's good. And then I got my plus nut thing and as always uh, there's a link uh, to the video that uh, shows you how I do my uh, plus nuts
that is done. And then I have a bolt in here. Fortunately, I have only one cross member here, so I have to attach this to the side wall of the cabinet. Put a little bit of wax on the screw so it will go in much easier. This will hold up the insulation as well as uh, make, a, make a strong connection point for that cabinet. But the cabinet will also be attached to the back wall. So, we'll be starting with some more contact cement and for mica. Take some there. it a little bit easier. To improve the uh, contact between these opposite pieces, I'll put a dado in so it has a little bit more uh, surface to uh, glue to. Cut is as like always beautiful. That's good. Now I have to do the same thing at the top. Part. This would be where it goes. Gonna glue the bottom first. Then we have this one. What I have to do is make some accommodation for the screw head, so I have to do that by hand. Now I'm doing this backsplash, or that's the part where I attach it to the, the wall with. I uh, have to glue that in as well with a couple of screws and that should be sufficient. I have to insert this uh, railing. It's an aluminum strip. Then I have to make one at the other end as well. It's always dirty looking this aluminum, but just a piece of uh, 220 grit or so makes it shine. So the next thing is a little bit of glue.
Let's see how that works. Okay. That stiffens everything up, so that's good. I still have my back panel location, so and finally my basket. So I would have some uh, knickknacks here. They won't fall out because I would either glue them or use some uh, sticky tape. And that's my basket for some loose stuff. Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one of a kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. Doing a good job.